This is the fabric of our nation. The resources and activities that enrich our lives, ensure our welfare, and define our American heritage. This is the Department of the Interior. Memories linger in these hallways, the beauty spots and scars of political history, etched into its foundation and painted on its walls. The Department of the Interior was first known as the Home Department. It was established four score and seven years ago. And since that time, its activities have been intertwined with the internal development of the nation itself. Since its creation in 1849, the Department of the Interior has adapted to the changes that have shaped the nation at large. Our story is a coming of age story about a country in its infancy and the agency that grows up alongside it. Manifest destiny. Promise of land and fortune inspires the nation to push westward to explore old boundaries and draw new ones. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives that any person who is the head of Enabled by a growing network of railroads and encouraged by legislation promising free land to any homesteader willing to claim it, a tide of settlers venture out in search of a new life in the American West. It is a race to the frontier that offers a new beginning and opportunity for some, but displacement and tragedy for many. An act to provide for the exchange of lands with the Indians and for their removal west of the river Mississippi. An act to provide for the allotment of lands in severalty to Indians on the various reservations. Perhaps more than any other department of the federal government, the Interior Department really does embody the history of our country. The story of our country's struggles to expand the horizons and make real the promise of America for all Americans. Closer than ever, the wilderness looms on our doorstep, waiting to be explored. There is something romantic in the thought that in spite of the restless activity of our people, vast tracts of the national domain yet remain unexplored. New York Times, 1871. The Interior Department rises to the challenge and sends out surveyors and scientists to study the land. These explorers map and document this uncharted territory and make discoveries that ignite the imagination. What a world of grandeur is spread before us. Cathedral-shaped buttes towering thousands of feet, ledges from which the gods might quarry mountains, and canyon walls that shrink the river into insignificance. John Wesley Powell, United States Geological Survey. As the nation's borders expand and the new discoveries transform American life, the government faces unprecedented management challenges. The Department of the Interior must evolve with this changing world. The population pushes westward, but inhospitable climates and terrain pose challenges for those who live off the land. An act for the construction of irrigation works for the reclamation of arid lands. Reclamation Act, 1902. The Interior Department builds hydroelectric dams in regions plagued by drought. Here comes the water from the Grand Coulee, rushing toward the dusty acres. This is the moment which people in this area have waited for for more than a quarter of a century. The dams bring water and power to the arid west, creating habitable, arable land for generations to come.
faced with a demand for energy, public land offers the natural resources needed to power the future. It has now been shown that oil in substantial quantities could be obtained by drilling. Act of February 25th, 1920. An act to promote the mining of coal, phosphate, oil, oil shale, gas, and sodium on the public domain. Being enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives. Leases on the land managed by the Department of the Interior fuel the economy and hold promise for a prosperous future. But with this rapid growth, it becomes clear that the natural resources will one day run out. There came as cries from the wilderness, warnings against the ravaging of our forests, the waste of our topsoil, and the dissipation of our oil reserves. We come to learn that land management is a balancing act between use and conservation. To navigate this delicate balance, the Interior Department dedicates new services to preserving public lands. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives that there is hereby created in the Department of the Interior a service to be called the National Park Service and new bureaus to regulate activities on the public lands and the development of their natural resources. It is the mission of the Bureau of Land Management to sustain the health, diversity, and productivity of the public lands for the use and enjoyment of present and future generations. It is a balancing act that we don't always get right. And get through, we're still gonna be stepping cold. But as scientific evidence mounts and the impacts of human activity become clear, our priorities shift to address the new concerns. The President's remarks at the signing of the Wilderness Preservation Act. The Wilderness Bill preserves for our posterity nine million acres of this vast continent in their original and unchanging beauty and wonder. Nothing is more priceless and more worthy of preservation. Those are the words that Richard Nixon said when he signed the Endangered Species Act. As stated in our American Constitution, men and women have certain rights, but I also think the landscape has certain rights. Wilderness itself has certain rights. The bill before me now, the Alaska National Interest Lands Conservation Act, is one of the most important pieces of conservation legislation ever passed. As the Interior Department's role in protecting our natural heritage grows, so too does its responsibility to protect our cultural heritage. Our historical treasures at risk of destruction at the hands of looters and developers. The people look to the Department of the Interior to safeguard the nation's memories and its cultural legacies. The Congress finds and declares that the spirit and direction of the nation are founded upon and reflected in its historic heritage. The historical and cultural foundations of the nation should be preserved as a living part of our community life and development. The Department of the Interior story is one of change a pattern of conflict and resolution that reflects the growing pains of a maturing nation. Quite a bit has changed for the Bureau of Indian Affairs since its inception in 1824. What started as an office to negotiate treaties between the federal government and Indian tribes has grown into a bureau that looks to help tribes become more self-sufficient. Amidst the tide of history, the Department of the Interior adopts policies to uphold new principles and attempt to right the wrongs of the past. But the issue here really is our lack of self-determination. Recognizing that it is a long process with ongoing challenges and many voices. Always fighting, 
to preserve who we are as people and where we came from. I still have a connection to our homeland. Stand up and be proud of who we are and what we are. Remember that the land has a memory. Through the establishment of a meaningful Indian self-determination policy. <laughs> From honoring our commitments and trust responsibilities to the tribal nations. The historic settlement with George and other American Indian farmers and ranchers. To preserving sites, icons, and memories of the past. Harnessing energy from the land, the wind, and the sun to drive our economy and secure a sustainable future for all Americans on this continent and across the seas. Ensuring the health of our waterways and the health of our lands by managing the impact of our activities and extinguishing threats to our natural resources. And you guys have your regulation books as well? through the scientific study of our landscapes, our wildlife, a younger male. and of our marine environments. Through the conservation of our wild areas. For the enjoyment of everyone. Shaped by the events of the past, the Department of the Interior has become an agency of many responsibilities. But a single shared goal, to steward and protect all that makes up our American heritage.